¿Qué tal mis amigos de YouTube? En este día vamos a hacer un, un video muy especial, pero sobre todo, antes de que se me olvide, queremos darle las gracias en este día a todos nuestros suscriptores, porque llegamos a 500 y no saben cómo les agradecemos que nos sigan, que sigan viendo nuestros videos y sobre todo, que se mantengan en sintonía. Este video vamos a mostrar cosas muy interesantes. Una de ellas va a ser cómo entrenar a un perro para que se pare. Para eso vamos a usar dos cajas que son de entrenamiento especial, que son estas, se abren, se cierran y ahorita con el, a través del video les vamos a decir cómo se paran los perros, pero más que nada, una vez más, gracias a todos los suscriptores y manténganse en sintonía. Ok guys, uh, thank you for your support, we reached 500 subscribers, you know we started from zero, so now we're at five. So we're getting there, you know, little by little, but you know, we appreciate every one of your supports. Um, today's video is pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna show you how we stack our dogs for either show ring or it actually helps a lot for when you take pictures. You know, if you, uh, if you stack a dog, you know, the dog learns to stay still, it is so much easier to uh, take pictures instead of having a dog, you know, going all over the place. Same thing as for the show ring, you know, and the good trained dog, it looks uh, really good in the show ring. Uh, for that, we use a stack box. It's not necessary, but we do use it. And keep in mind, guys, this is our way of how we do it. It doesn't mean everybody does it this way, you know, everybody does it their own way. You know, that's why, you know, there's so many options out there, but this is what has worked for us. You know, we do start our puppies at about eight weeks old. We start training them. You know, that way they grow up knowing that mentality that, you know, they they have, to, you know, we stack them, they have to stay straight, you know. So, like I said, we do use a stack box. Uh, this one right here <coughs> was made by uh, QK Wilkins on Facebook. It is actually a foldable one. And if you look at that, has a lot of uh, detail and he even made it with our logo and information so this one is pretty nice you know great craftsmanship you know uh, we've actually used it on Ray Mysterio and we tend to like it a lot otra cosa que le quería mencionar es que la técnica como les vamos a mostrar es una técnica que nosotros hacemos no somos profesionales no imitamos a nadie, simple y sencillamente nuestra forma de trabajar y nos ha funcionado. Cada persona tiene sus métodos diferentes, cada persona lo hace de diferente manera. Pero una cosa muy importante que existe es que el perrito a partir de las 8 semanas se tiene que entrenar para que se vaya mentalizando cómo se va a parar, cómo debe de actuar en el momento que uno le dice que se tiene que estar parando. Entonces, como mencionamos, tenemos varias cajas y les vamos a mostrar cómo funciona. And then this one was made by uh, Jesse Cervantes. He's been doing this for a while. Uh, like I said, you know, you can have a plain one or a color. Santos bullies on there, and this one's held on by Velcro. Really easy, simple, you know. And like I said, you know, these boxes helped us. It's not necessary, because I, you know, we've done it with other boxes. <coughs> You know, we've done it, we, you know, sometimes the dog will be easier to just, you know, have a routine of stacking on a box. Some other dog will do it just without a box. I mean, each dog is different. So, I mean, it's not necessary, but they do help. You know, it's good to have different kind of tools for that. But like I said, guys, um, me, my dad, our whole family, you know, Santos Bullies, we appreciate you guys for, uh, you know, uh, support. Los apreciamos por todo el apoyo que nos da, es tremendo. Como les digo, empezamos desde nada, desde uno o dos suscriptores a 500 ahorita. So, gracias por el apoyo. Thank you guys for the, uh, the support. And let's just get right to the video. Let's start stacking these dogs and how we do it. Y vamos a empezar con Rey Misterio. Vamos a hacerlo. Este es Rey Misterio. Lo primero que les tengo que decir algo muy importante. Cuando los perros lo entrenen, nada más son 10, 15 minutos a diarios y no lo irriten. Trátenlo con cariño. Porque un perro lo trata bien. Si lo trata con cariño va a ser muy inteligente. Otra cosa, acostúmbrenlo con la correa. Porque si no le ponen correa, el perro no se va a acostumbrar. ¿Sí? Cuando le pongan la correa, siempre se lo tienen que poner de este lado, con la argolla. 
para que cuando ustedes le jalen, ellos se entiendan. Ya vamos la caja. Es muy importante que le midan la longitud del perro para que el perro no se abra mucho y no se vaya a lastimar. Si usted le pone una medida exacta, el perro no se va a lastimar y va a aprender a pararse muy bien. Muchos perros no necesitan las cajas y muchos sí, es de acuerdo como usted se acostumbre. Pero este, este método también es muy importante y a nosotros, como lo repetimos, nos ha funcionado. Para el perro, que está a la, a la pura medida de él, ¿se ve? Ahora el perro automáticamente te da la emulación. Y es todo. Alright guys, so the snack box is open, set to the correct size for the dog. You don't want it too long or too short, otherwise it's gonna mess up the structure and he's not gonna learn the correct way to do it. But basically, same procedure as the other way. You grab the dog. the fronts grab the chain set the hawk on one side the other one command stack very important command stack the one the dog uh, recognizes what you're telling him to do he'll end up doing it break ahora lo vamos a hacer de enfrente Mucha gente usa juguetes, carnadas o como ellos se me hace acomodan, es su manera de trabajar. Nosotros no usamos nada de eso, ¿por qué? Porque queremos que el perro automáticamente, cuando él sabe que le ponemos la cadena y que va a trabajar, que lo haga sin que se le dé nada. Por eso, como le repetimos, es mucha paciencia y 15 minutos diarios. Pero es opcional, cada quien puede usarlo a su manera, con juguetes, con carnada o así como lo hacemos nosotros. Okay guys, so front stack, same way, um, one thing I do want to say is we don't use uh, food or we don't use toys, it's all hands on, uh, it's just our preference, you know, we don't want to be carrying toys or whatever, but food, we just want the dog to obey command when he needs to obey. So same way with the front stack. Stack the dog. Nice, correct front stack. You do the rear. And this is when we do the command. Okay, stack. You can see Ray will hold the stack until I tell him to break. Once I tell him to break, he'll stop doing it. It's just a habit of doing it. Break. Eso es todo por el día de hoy amigos, espero que les haya gustado las técnicas que nosotros nos ha funcionado y ojalá ustedes mejoren las suyas y por favor síganos en el enlace que vamos a dejar en el video y manténganse en contacto porque tenemos otra perrita que va a dar unos perritos muy pronto y los vamos a mostrar cuando ya estén listos. Hasta luego y gracias por todo. Guys, that's it for this video. Um, hope you guys learned something. Like I said, we're not professionals, but it works our way, you know, we've had good results. Uh, we like how you know the dogs turn out uh, stacking wise uh, Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video 
if you learn something from her, you know, take it, take this from, uh, and put it to your own workflow, you know, see what you can come up with. Maybe it'll be better than us. You know, like I said, we're not professionals, but it helped us and it helps, helped us along the way. And it has, I mean, there's really not much to it, you know, just practice daily. You know, that's, that's a key thing, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day. Don't make it boring. Don't make it as a punishment for the dog, because if you do that, the dog won't like it. You know, it's supposed to be fun. Keep them entertained at the same time. Uh, follow us on social media. There's going to be a link in the description. Just click on it. It'll take you uh, on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of that. And then exciting news. Philly Philly did take it. You know, we're expecting puppies really, really soon. You know, we're excited. Champion Aaron, Philly Philly with success. Hopefully, you know, everything goes smooth. But uh, yeah, so keep an eye out for that. There will be a video coming soon for that too. Guys, thank you for your support. It means a lot to us, you know. And this is it for this video. And I'll see you next.